Jeremy Ellis here, maker of Roxetta.com, uh, Twitter at Roxetta. I just want to quickly show you how to install uh, Google's Magenta uh, Music Creation, Artificial Intelligence, Deep Learning. Um, so here we go to my GitHub site. It's got a ridiculously long name, Google Magenta Media Music on Linux. Hello world. What you need to do is grab that URL. Uh, right there it really is just whatever that is with dot git on the end then you need to go to your Linux box I'm in a temporary folder and git clone uh, right click to paste that URL and what it quite quickly does is dumps it into the folder so I'm going to CD into it don't forget autofill which is just the tab key and then ls to show it. There's the setup file, so I'm going to bash, set, hit tab, so it finishes. And <coughs> and hit enter, and it will start installing Magenta and running a demo Hello World program. Uh, before ever running any of these things, it's a good idea to just check the files. So the file I'm running right now is called setup and on the github site you can see it it's all a bash file which means it's just a series of uh, commands first it's just setting up a folder called my magenta and then it's doing a bunch of sudo app gets and it's installed so you can see every single thing that's going on so this thing right at the end is going to run bash ao1 hello world uh, and then the last step it's going to do is load tensorboard and that just shows it graphically. So let's go back to the site and let's see what AO1 does. Now AO1 is a bash file that should start running your um, Magenta program. So there's the first part of it. There's the next part of it where it trains it. There's the final where it needs a primer.mid file, MIDI file. Um, that's about it. I'm going to stop the uh, program at the moment and then we'll come back once it's fully installed. Let's just have a look here. Yeah, it's stalling some stuff. It won't be much longer. So let's give it a pause. Well, here we're partially through it and there's a little statement, did Basil install? Well, this is all the help information from Basil. So yes, it did. So just hit enter. Okay, well, things seem to be going well. Um, we've started the main um, training loop. This is something to look at. It, uh, and it's going really slow because of the video. Um, you're supposed to do 20,000, well, the, the default is 20,000 training loops. I'm doing 200, and it's going really slow because I'm recording. Um, but these are the things to look at, is the loss the accuracy, the learning rate, um, the average accuracy. When you get up to oh, 1,500 of these, these numbers start getting very low, which is good. I'm going to turn off the recording so it can go a little quicker. So it looks like it's done. This is good. This is the TensorBoard uh, URL. I'm just going to copy that. I probably could just kind of click on it like that and click on it somehow. Open link, but I'm going to try to use it later. So let's have a look at the landscape here. Um, can you see that? Yeah. So this is what got installed. There's Basil, which does a bunch of builds. There's my um, GitHub site and there's Magenta. This is the workspace in Magenta. Whenever it talks about the Magenta workspace, this is where you need to be, but what's really, 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 really confusing is there's a folder inside it. That's not the workspace. That has some reasonably important things. Now look what I've installed. I may actually change the name because this A link doesn't help the auto stuff. This is where the runs are. That's the looping thing we were just looking at. Um, in there is run one, two, and three, but I just made things into run one. Uh, this is what's been built. It's kind of like the brain of the uh, um, 
deep learning. This is a link to what's been generated, so it made five songs. Um, this is a link to where the primer is. There is your primer. It's just a small um, snippet of MIDI, and you can change that. What's actually really fun to do is to change that and generate a new song, which is quite quick to do. Here's just a link to temporary files where we don't really need to look at that. And uh, here's a link to your original MIDI. MIDI. So I tend to put lots of MIDI files in here. Not quite sure why that's there. Uh, that's more to do with uh, Magenta. So that's about it. Oh, let's go into a link to generated MIDI. And let's play one. Now I can play them on mine. It seems to be set up. That's the starting primer playing. And here's... And that's, that's it. Um, so you've got all these different songs. Um, if... Oh, let's go to TensorBoard and just see... So I'm going to make a new file. I'm going to paste in that TensorBoard. <coughs> And this should load up, load up TensorBoard, which has some gra uh, images. Oh, where are they? It's got some graphs and things like that. You can play around with that. It's got some Instagram uh, graphs. I don't think it has histograms. No. So it only has graphs and events. And you can go through. You click on those. And you go through. And remember, I only did 200 iterations. The default was 2000, which on this computer would take about six hours. On a GPU, it might take, it might be very quick. So that's about it. Uh, very important to get a sense of the landscape here. I've thrown in these links so that you can find the primer um, file. Uh, what I should show you, um, let me just grab some um, music files. And uh, what have we got? It does get a little confusing jumping around. So I'm going to link to the primer. I'm going to delete their primer. Delete. Ah! Link to primer. Delete their one. And paste my one. Uh, rename it, in this case, primer. And I just want to show you. Uh, working in, in Linux, it's often easier just to open a terminal here. And I want to um, bash. Oh, wait a sec. I gotta get into Magenta again. Remember, this is your workspace. So open terminal there. And I want to, uh, you can ls to see the files. I want to bash um, AO2 autofill. Where'd it go? Oh, AO2 is not copied over. Okay, so. Uh, you can just AO1 again. I'll update that code so AO2 copies over. Uh, let me just reasonably quickly do this. AO2 copy. By the way, AO3 has extra install things if you don't have uh, GitHub uh, Git working. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to paste this here and then go into the terminal and ls to see if it showed up, bash, a02, autofill, and what's nice here is it should quite quickly generate um, this one, and it's a longer version, based on... Remember, this is only 200 iterations. That's not very exciting. That's using the default stuff. Anyway, 